Hello and welcome to the Divorced Dadvocate, where we help dads navigate through life during and after divorce and create an amazing life for themselves and their children. My name is Jude Sandoval and I am your host. And today we're going to do another practical advice. I'm getting tons and tons of questions about practical advice and this one is unbelievably important. My guest today is the founder of Got It Together Now. She's spent the last 30 plus years in the financial services industry as a certified financial planner. And during that time, she witnessed how unprepared her clients were when a health issue or death occurred. Well, that would be me. This, uh, this prompted her to develop an online co uh, course called Got It Together. And it guides individuals to get their important documents and personal information up to date, organized, and in one place. And no one knows when an illness, an accident, or death will occur. And there's never a better time than now to get this taken care of. And her graduates can conf confidently say, I've got it together. Please welcome Stacy Golden Liznock. Hey, Stacy, thanks for being here today. Hey, Jude, thanks for having me. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Man, it is. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot. And, you know, what you do is a lot. And I got to say, I'm just going to admit right off the bat, I did not have it together during my divorce or like after my divorce. And it really, really made things incredibly challenging for me in the process because there's such a, you know, there's so much to do, so much documentation to get. And then really after I put it off, like getting all the stuff changed and all that, et cetera. So, but before we start talking about how you can help everybody do that, tell us a little bit about, you know, you said you've been in, you know, a CFP and, and you were in the financial services of 30 plus, plus years. How did you get into this business? So I had a health crisis myself and never been sick in my life. And all of a sudden I find myself like unable to work. And that was in 2018 and it was due to the shingles virus. So mm -hmm. a lot of people have had shingles and they're like, what is she talking about? It's not that mm -hmm. bad. You just get through it. Well, mine was bad and it knocked me down for almost a year. So wow. in 2018, well, like kind of laying around with no energy and no ability to do much, but, you know, eat and sleep. And um, I kept thinking, you know, I don't have my stuff together. Like if nobody knows how to pay the bills, I haven't set that up. Right. And if I don't make it through this, a lot of things are going to fall through the cracks. People aren't going to know people, my husband aren't going to know where things are or what, how I handle things. So I started, um, when I felt better, I started buying workbooks and guess what? I still didn't do the work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you think you're describing, you think you're describing me? <laughs> yeah. So, uh -huh. you know, you feel good when you buy the book. Cause that's like, Oh good. I did it. But then right. when it arrives and you're like, Oh no, you look through it and you're like, this is way more than I can handle. I'll look at it later. And then in, later never comes, but then I bought another workbook thinking that would be a little more motivating. No, they just started piling up. So then I decided, you know, I would rather have a structure and I don't know of any plans, programs out there. Okay. So I created my own. And so now I have this online course. It's called the Emergency Info File and it's seven modules and it gets you through the process in like small lessons. And so you can see the progress and it's not this huge progress, pro pro um, program or not program, but um, you know, like when you renovate a house, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you look back on how much you had to do in the order that you had to do it. And you're like, oh gosh, I'm glad that's done. It's yep. kind of like that. You get through it in small pieces and you look back after the end and say, I, wow, went through all of that, but I did it in a way that was actually doable. Right. Right. Did you, this is a side note. Did you know the average number of pages in a book that somebody buys is 18 that are read are 18? People usually read 18 pages and then put it away. Never oh, read the rest. I'm not surprised. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I never heard that, but I'm not surprised. I heard that this week. So it kind of like it plays into exactly what you just said, which is, you know, I buy the book or I plan on doing that or, or, or I want to, and then I don't. So having this is absolutely brilliant, like you said. And I think you, you described it. And, and I also want to let everybody know, 
Hang on to the end because Stacy's got something coming up this next week that she wants to tell you about. I think you'll be excited and, and it'll absolutely, absolutely be worthwhile for, uh, for you to, to listen to uh, and, and wait to the end because it's going to give you an opportunity to, to do exactly what we were describing in some practical ad, ad, advice today. So you're, you, what you're describing is, is that it's, a, it's over a period of time so that it just kind of chunks it down so you're not completely overwhelmed because I know I was overwhelmed and so I had a business in addition to all the personal documents and three children and life insurance, you know, all of this stuff all together. So it, it was that what I heard you say? It just kind of takes you slowly through that gives yeah. you. And then, and then there were like years later, I'm thinking, Oh wait, I didn't even do that. I forgot to do that or something popped up. Right. Exactly. And you know, I just want to give you a story, like a, a story telling on myself okay. because doing this work, you uncover things that even you forgot about. Mm -hmm. So like, how would anybody else ever even know it exists if you didn't even remember? So I was um, going through and cleaning up all of my passwords on uh, my password manager, mm -hmm. because that's one of the things that we, you know, say you should really have a password manager so somebody can get into all of your digital mm. accounts and take care of business that way. That's like the best way to yeah. handle things quickly. But um, so I had a whole bunch that were old links to sites that don't even exist anymore because I never cleaned it up. So I'm going through and I click on the one from Coinbase. So a long time ago when Bitcoin was $1,600 a coin, I had gotten talked into buying like a half of a coin. So I had a half of one, but then I got pretty much ripped off and didn't own anything. I got ripped off, but uh -huh. <laughs> So I thought I really didn't have anything left in cryptocurrency. Well, you know, it's over $50,000 now for one coin. It's wow. just had a huge ups, uptick. So when I'm cleaning out my manager there, my password manager, I click on the link for the Coinbase and it loads me in and it logs me in. And I have $1,800 <laughs> that I discovered. I was like, I felt like I won the lottery. So, so just to, to say, you don't even know what you have. So how is other, somebody else supposed to guess at what you might have that, you know, if you don't tell them in advance. So it is, it is section by section and topic by topic mm -hmm. so that you can get through and, and review the documents and make sure that people are in the know, at least one person, you pick one person that you can trust. Okay. Um, so you don't, you know, you don't want to keep your life insurance and have the wrong beneficiary on it. You don't want to have, um, you know, the wrong beneficiary is a big thing uh, mm -hmm. in divorces. I, I personally know a lady who her husband passed. He he was living life large, ended up getting killed in a car accident mm. and his ex-wife got the life insurance. And uh. so my friend subsequently, you know, they were living large. So they, you know, probably are living above their means. So she ultimately lost her health over it because, you know, the stress and the worry and all that. Mm -hmm. And so her life was never the same. And when you lose your health, you don't have a whole lot going that becomes your life. Right. Right. So, so then is this something that, so it's a, it's a course that, that they, that someone would, would log into. Now, do you suggest working it with somebody or do you, or, or do you like, if you're uh, have family members that can work with you so that they can actually see what's going on? Yeah, that would be the ultimate, that would be the best case scenario. If you could do it with uh, an accountability partner or the person mm. that you've chosen, like you, your reciprocal buddies for like, if something happens to me, you need to know, or something happens to you, I need to know. So you basically would do it in concert with each other because they're separate. It's like, even if you're married, it's not the same information. Right. right? So right. you don't, you know, like your wishes as far as final, like final wishes would be potentially different. Um, but the thing is, it's, it's guidance. It's the third, the thing is, there's three things, structure, guidance, and accountability okay. that make this doable because the structure comes with the fact that there's modules and then there's lessons. It's all structured. And okay. then the guidance is, is that we're each one in the lesson. So it's a video that you play on demand and explains what you're doing. And then you go and you get the log sheets and the things that you fill in or read articles on the topic. And then um, the accountability is, is that you're, you know, we try to uh, match people up with accountability partners if they don't mm -hmm. have their own network. 
so we have a couple of different packages. One of them has like weekly meetings and an all day intensive once a month where you can come and actually get the work done because oh. just taking the course is kind of like just <laughs> buying the workbook. Right. Like, uh, okay, I spent the money that thinks you, you think psychologically that's going to motivate you to get it done. Yeah. But you spent the money. I, how many courses have you bought mm -hmm. where you spent the money and it was a lot and then you thought that's going to motivate me and you don't do it. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's um, that's brilliant. So, so it creates a structure. Then I like the guidance part too. You said there's there's videos like and so for instance, for me, it was after the I, I, like I said after the fact, I wanted to set up a trust. I had no idea about that, and I, and I don't know if that's one of the it parts. Is. Okay, yeah. so I had and so I had to go and research that and find it and find an attorney and. So and spend money on on all of that, yeah. and this would that and that's just one one small thing. That's brilliant that they could just log in. They got the the structure, and then you know, yeah. and then it took me months, right? Because I had to that's get right. all my stuff together, get it, it to written up, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. So so with the um, first module, it is estate planning, like you're talking about, and it's so important mm. about the guardianship issues with children and and pets as well. I mean, if you get hauled off, you know, because you're in an accident or you have you um, have an illness that knocks you, you know, people have things happen every day just because you're a certain age or whatever doesn't mean you can't have a stroke or people. I've heard of young people with aneurysm. I mean, you could go on and on and on what could happen to you. Yeah. The fact of the matter is it probably won't. But what if it does? Like, do you want your kids to then have to suffer dually? Right. They would then suffer from losing you or losing the ability for you to take care of them. Yeah. And then they would be thrown into this whirlwind of like foster care or juggling around or whatever, other people deciding what's going to happen to them. It's right. Pretty, it's pretty tragic. Change right. their life forever, for sure. Right. And one of the reasons I was so excited to talk to you about this today is because when we're going through divorce, it's a perfect opportunity to get all of your poop in a pile, right? You know, you, so you can, so you can go forward with that. And it's a pain in the butt. And it's about the last thing you want to think about and yeah. do, but you're doing it. You're forced to do it anyway. You've got these disclosures and everything you need to go through and you're pulling documents and you're, there's a the discovery and you're sharing all these documents. So yeah. why not at the same time, have this structure of having this all set up because of the reasons that you just stated, which is, all right, so then you've taken this headache away from your who, whomever may be responsible after your children or, or what's going to happen because the well, last thing you'd want is something to go through this and then something happens to you and then it's just a big giant mess for everybody else. Absolutely. I mean, it's absolutely awesome. Yeah. Did you ever see the movie? Um, I think it's called Manchester by the Sea. Um, I don't think it's so. with Ben Affleck's brother, I think. Oh, um, Casey Affleck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it was a case where the, the father had a heart condition that he could die at any minute. Like he could just die at any minute and everybody, and he, but he had the sole custody of his son. Mm. And then his brother was a, you know, uh, I don't know, what do you call the guy that never got married and, and has a free spirit? Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's so, his brother. Right. Well, the guy with the son one day just dies, right? Because it was expected, actually. He had this congenital heart issue that was expected that it would take him at some any point. And then the brother, who's the free spirit, finds out that the son is now his responsibility for oh. the brother <laughs> electing that. You don't want to do that to somebody. You mm -hmm. don't want to make somebody the benefit, the beneficiary of your children um, without them agreeing to it because it's a total life change. And if they're not up for it, then that could screw your kids up even more because what you don't want your kids somewhere where they're not wanted. And um, you know, this, this guy, it was a good story because it turned his life around and he became this, you know, thing that he right. wasn't before, but, but just to say, you want to always have that conversation before you just assume somebody will take your kids. Right. So I, that's another great point that I didn't even think about. Can you can you take us through briefly each of the modules so we can kind of get an idea of what you know some of the stuff that's going to come up and prompt it prompt us because like as you keep saying this stuff I'm thinking oh yeah well 
maybe there's still some stuff I really need to start thinking about and paying attention. So this, this is as much for, yeah. for my, for my benefit as it is for everybody yeah, <laughs> listening's probably, benefit also. Probably. Um, you know what? I, I hate to say I was going to, I put at, you on, I put you on, I'm sorry. I put you on the spot yeah. with this question. We, we don't it, rehearse questions here. So yeah. just so everybody knows it's not. Well, if I would have known, I would have had this one particular <laughs> document up. You think, you think I have a brain like a. a no, steel, no. I a, mean, that's what do they all say? a steel trap, right? <laughs> yeah. No, it's like the sieve. Trust it's me. like a sieve. Okay. Well, you know, you're doing this every day and I can't even imagine yeah, all no, the uh, information that, yeah, uh, no, that I you're have, working I have with it here. I, I have it here. So I, I am prepared. So I'm going to go through the modules. And so okay. the, there's seven of them. So okay. this is it. The first one is what you saw, talked about estate planning. And that is okay. first and foremost, because it really is the most important in my mind, but it's not the end all and the be all. So sometimes people say, well, I have that done. I have my will. I have my trust. I'm I'm good. My, my attorney's got me handled. Well, you know what? Your attorney doesn't even have himself or herself handled because there's so much more to it than just the paperwork of your trust or your will. Mm -hmm. So that's all good and well that you have that if you do, but you still need to look at it annually or every couple of years, make sure that the wishes that you have in there are still accurate because whomever is that you've um, appointed or that you've assigned or that's agreed, hopefully agreed to be your like successor trustee or your executor is still up for the job. Mm -hmm. the, the, they're right. not, you know, maybe their values have changed. Maybe yep. you don't want them to be. Maybe that you're in a spat with them. <laughs> yeah. Anything right. can happen at any time. Maybe they moved and they're on the other coast and it's like, well, well they're not going to be very, you know, useful. Um, you know, maybe they got married or divorced or something. And so their, their lives are a mess. They're probably not going to want to handle your stuff too. Right. So you want right. to always look at that. Then you've got your, um, your guardianship issues, which is what I was saying, your kids and your pets. You mm -hmm. want to make sure that those are handled. Those are in there. Um, and your advanced directive is really important. If you become unable to make your own medical decisions, you need to have somebody appointed to do that. Otherwise, it's a huge mess. There was cases that have gone on for, you know, that Terry Schiavo case, if you've ever heard yes. of her, you know, 15 years and it went all the way to Supreme Court. The families bickered and argued and all of that and kept her alive for all those years because they couldn't agree. Right. And what a waste of both of their lot, both the family's lives and right. the, the, the cost and the, just the whole thing. It was just, it was un, unnecessary, but she was only 26 years old. Who knew that she was going to have a mm -hmm. stroke or whatever happened to her. They found her, you know, unresponsive one day, and then they kept her alive on machines all these years. So that's, that's what could happen. Um, right. Then we go into insurance policies and reviewing your beneficiaries on everything. You know, that's to my case in point about, my friend whose husband never changed the beneficiary and the ex-wife got the line, got a $400,000 payday. And do you wow. think she shared $1 with my friend? <laughs> Unlikely, right? <laughs> now, you know what she told her? You'll appreciate this. Stop okay. crying, you baby. Oh like, yeah. Who yeah, says so. women aren't spiteful? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you got, you got yours. You took my husband. Now this is what you get. Nothing. Oh my. Um, then we go to credit and debt. So everybody's got credit cards. Most everybody's got debt. Who knows what they are? Sometimes you don't even know what they are. What are the terms? Yeah. You know, wh what about your digital debt, right? You're revolving credit with PayPal, with, mm -hmm. with HN HSN or yeah. You, know, you can have all that stuff and nobody's ever going to see a statement for that. Yeah. It's all digital. How about your real estate and other account titles? How do you have them titled? Really important. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. difference between going to probate and having just like a transfer on death, de a transfer on death designation so that if you should pass away, somebody can just basically show that's the truth. And then it's a beneficiary that you've put on your investments and, and bank accounts. Right. And we go through and talk about your internet assets and your digital Ooh. footprint and all that, all of those accounts, Facebook and LinkedIn and all those accounts you have, you know, how sad is it when you see somebody and you've probably seen this happy birthday, Joe, yeah, well, you know, I Joe know. died three That's years ago awful. and you're like, and people are going, Joe, haven't talked to you in a while. <laughs> you know, I hope you're doing good. And you're like, oh my gosh, this person never heard that he died. I don't mean to laugh, but yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's devastating for the people that, 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 because they're like, it just opens the wound over and over right. again if they expose themselves to those kinds of things. So you don't want to do that to your 
family. Right. If you can help it. Um, and then we've got well, um, and, and and also because that's a, this is a this is a new one, right? In the last generation of these digital assets, there's photographs and yes. movies. That's and right. And people all, are very sad when they can't get to them. Yeah, exactly. All kinds of other things that might not have a a uh, monetary value, but it will have a sentimental value, like the old um, photo albums, etc., that were passed down. This is kind of the the same thing. And, that's another one I got to put on my list. Thank you, Stacy. Because well, I know you're going to take my class. So you'll, I'm, you'll I'm thinking have. I'm, I'm going to have to schedule the time <laughs> in here uh, to oh, definitely gosh, do that. Can't. Yeah. So then we'll get to that about the time thing. Don't don't let me forget. Okay. Um, okay. Budgeting um, and planning is the next one. So you know what? You have bills to pay. If you somehow get yourself in a predicament where you cannot handle your own affairs, you can't pay your bills because you know. You're on a ventilator or you've been in a car accident and you're hooked up to machine. You're not available to pay your bills. What are they? How do they show up? Are they on auto pay? Do you pay with check? Do you do bill pay where you have to go and manually do it? Like somebody needs to know all this because guess what could happen? Your health insurance could lapse. Now you don't even have health insurance and you're in the hospital. Your yeah. life insurance could lapse. You could die with no life insurance, even though your intention was to always have had that so that you can your family can carry on and not right. have not have their lives upset to the point where they can't sustain their norm as far as live where they live and all that jazz. Um, then we're on to final wishes. What mm -hmm. are they? You know, do you want to be buried, cremated? Uh, how about writing your own obituary? We do that because oh. like, why put that burden on somebody else when you know your life and you know what you'd like shared about you in the afterlife? It's very simple. You know, it sounds kind of morbid, but we use templates and it's like, well, that wasn't that hard. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. You know, you get to say the things that you, you, you get to reminisce through your life and pick the high points that you want to share um, yeah. with the world kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there's other things involved in that in the final wishes. But in a nutshell, those are those are the those are the seven modules. I want to just say I have four bonus modules that are still in the works that are coming. Okay. But I want to mention if you have a business. Mm -hmm. succession planning is so very mm, important. I yeah. know of several people now because I've been, you know, hearing the stories where they didn't have anything in place. They either become unable, unable to handle the business on their own and, or died. Nobody's in the wings knows enough to actually pick up the pieces. And so therefore all that hard work is lost when it could have been a valuable asset for the family to sell yeah um, and also all of the clients that you serve are then stuck yeah. right and especially if you're in a service-based or or you know like a tax preparer or something like that right. where you've got people depending on you because they don't know anything about their taxes only you do <laughs> yeah, right. Right? right so so it's important um if you're an employee hey if you've bought all kinds of benefits as an employee how would somebody else know what they are to go claim them right it is huge and it yeah. just goes unclaimed no one's going to come chasing after you the beneficiary to claim it right right that's, yeah. that's a big one yeah and then and then i have two more your pets pets are property you mm. can't leave money or things to your pets because they are property mm -hmm. but you can you can assign somebody or, or somebody you can agree with somebody and have like a signed document that they are willing to take your pet oh that would in the long run, save that pet's life for the most part, most right. often. Right. And then guns, mm -hmm. guns, gun Another trust. Pe gun people trust. don't realize yep. the liability that they place on somebody else by saying, oh, I'll just let you um, inherit my gun collection. Well, mm -hmm. you could make them a felon and you not even know it. I mean, it, you could... Because they, they can't transfer them across state lines without certain, li yeah. certain so, ways to do that. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. then you can, I mean, I don't, I'm not a gun owner myself, so I'm, I'm just taking this hearsay, but mm -hmm. I, from a gun dealer told me that you could have a gun in your home and, uh, and have it not secured properly. And if it gets stolen and it could be used in a murder and you could be implicated or something, there's all these things, yeah. um, you just don't know. And when you're dead, somebody could take that gun and now your estate is becomes liable. So there's so many things um, that you just don't know. Mm -hmm. And if you want to put your head in the sand and be an ostrich, you know what? You got your butt up in the air. So you're probably gonna get kicked in it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> you, know, doubt. you know, that's not a good solution. And I know sometimes it feels overwhelming that there's all of these things. 
but talk to the people that have had to deal with those things. It takes over their life. Like, what did they do to deserve that? Right? Like, really? You now your your mess is their mess, and right. And then again, this is a perfect time. You're. And we talk on the show about creating your vision and direction and what you want to do and how mm-hmm. you want to live your life with your children going forward. Having this stuff in order would be huge. The, a gun, the gun, the gun trust and gun, another one I got to put on my list. So I mean, this, right. is, this is, yeah, I've, I've really got to, to go through the course. So let's talk about the time frame of the course. So you talked about um, having some uh, structure and guidance and accountability. And, and there's some people that you meet with. What is, what is the time frame? How long can we expect to have to, to go through this as we're going through all the other crazy stuff that we're going That's through right. during divorce and learning how to parent it's, alone I, and co-parent and everything else? I feel for you, man. I, I don't know. I don't know how you do it. Cause you know, you have to be the, the mom and the dad and it's like, I, you know, I don't know how you do it, but yeah, divorce is crazy. Yeah. So this is the thing when people tell me, um, number one, I don't have time. I think your course is excellent, but I don't have time, Hmm. but thank you for inviting me. (laughs) I don't have time. Well, do you know what? When I got sick, I didn't have time either, but I got sidelined when somebody gets rear ended or broadsided. Do you think they have time? Do you think people have time to be laying up in the hospital? Do you think people have time to, uh, go to the morgue. I I mean, I don't know what this thing, I don't have time. It's the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. Yeah. You don't have time. All you have is time. And if you choose to use your time to benefit the people you love, then you've used your time well. So this is definitely something that is a responsibility of every person. Yet I don't understand how our society doesn't look at it like that. They don't mind throwing their mess to somebody else to handle because they don't have time. Yeah, I, I well, know you're watching movies and I know you're very busy going out to dinner. You know, I, I know. <laughs> watching American Idol. Yeah, I know, I know you're very busy. <laughs> but you know what? This whole mess, if you are the lucky person that gets to handle somebody else's, you mm. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. If you have your parents and they met, left fighting with your siblings and you don't talk to them anymore, or they're accusing you of stealing from your parents or vice versa. You might be the idiot that's, that's, you know, not doing the work, but accusing your other siblings of taking too long to settle things or yeah. not doing it right. You know, cause yeah. you've got your hand out waiting for your inheritance. It's an ugly, ugly mess. And if you can stop that infighting, you've done a huge service to your kids and to their kids and to all the generations after that, because people stop talking to one another and then they don't know their cousins and they don't know their uncles and they don't know their family. They just right. s- cease to exist. Right. It's a bad, bad thing. So yeah, don't get me started on the time. Yeah, <laughs> apparently that's a, <laughs> but that's how long a does it take? That's your question. But here's the, yeah, but here's the good thing is during divorce, we're going through this. So, so yeah. it is yeah. the perfect time, time because <laughs> you already pulling those policies out. Yeah. You're already disclosing yeah. everything that you All could right. possibly right, disclose. Dude, I'm, so, I'm sorry for barking up that tree. So um, how long does it take? Seriously, if you are somebody who's single, you know, no real assets, don't own a house, your job is going to be a lot simpler than somebody who's right. been married three times, has a business, has houses in two states. And, and ha, you know, has a complicated situation. So I can't answer that question. Yeah. I just know that if you go module by module at the end of seven, you'll, you'll be done with my course. Not to say that it's touching on every single thing it could be touching on. I've looked at some programs where they, they talk about handing down recipes to generations and, and your mm. classic uh, collections and, and your life story. I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm going with... If you get sick today, you die today, what does somebody need to know bare bones so that they can manage your estate, not have to, you know, totally abandon their own life to do it and that things get handled and don't fall through the cracks. I mean, I have, I have a case in point where as an insurance agent, this woman called me, she goes, my father-in-law passed away and I was looking through his papers and it looked like he has a life insurance policy, which is how she got my number. And I looked it up and I said, well, that policy lapsed, um, lapsed like like five, six months ago, she goes, oh. you know, that's when my father-in-law moved in with us. He, he had cancer. He was on chemo. He couldn't handle it on his own. He moved in with us. We didn't want to pry into his financial affairs. So we didn't ask any questions. Uh, well, they lost a hundred thousand dollars because they let somebody who was sick and dying 
not pay his bills. I yeah. mean, what, what do you think is going to happen? Right. So if you had to take over somebody else's life, ask the questions because they most likely haven't taken my course. But right. if you take the course, this isn't going to happen because you're going to have your life insurance on auto pay because you don't want it to not get paid, right? Because it's a benefit that you are providing to your family. Great point. That's a great point, which is the education part of it. So you're not, you're not only educating yourself for your own stuff, but then you can help others Everybody do it. You're, you're, if you have elderly parents that are, that are aging or coming close to the end of life or children, right? Well, you have adult children that are starting out in life you can help them not do what I did, which is not keep track of this stuff. Cause then you have the knowledge and the education from your, from your course. And, and, and then I want to be clear, it's, it's self-paced. So if you're going through your documents, you're going through this process, you can, you can get in there and go, okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw this in this module. I need to get in there and I need to do this. I'm going to do it simultaneously. I'll have it all done. It's, it's just, it's just a beautiful beautiful time to, to, to do it as much as we may not want to right, right now. Yeah. I, and there's so many things you don't think about, like that these log sheets and these um, exercises prompt you on. I mean, I, before I did it, I never thought, what about the appointments that you have already on the books? Like I book my dentist a year in advance. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> somebody would need to call and say, Hey, you know, we got to cancel these appointments or, or how about this? All of the things that you're buying online to run your business or run your life that auto renew every year or every month yeah. or whatever, you yeah. know, those things need to be canceled. If there's just a lot of things that are left um, up to somebody to try to like, <laughs> you have to be a detective, right? Yeah, no oh, doubt. I wonder who my, who my parents um, have do their <laughs> lawn. We need to stop them, but we don't even know who it is. Like we got to right. stand around on the day when we think they're going to come to catch <laughs> them, to see, <laughs> leave them a note. Hey, lawn guy. I mean, Right, right, right. Yeah. Now, you, yeah, you just got another one on my list <laughs> to do also. All right. So this is phenomenal. It's very, very exciting. And I think it could benefit so many people that are listening. You've got something going on this week that's that's uh, really exciting, really helpful. What is that? Yeah. So we're doing a webinar. It's on Tuesday, Tuesday, the 23rd okay. at 10 a.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. Pacific. Okay. And what it is, it's a, it's an offer to get in the course. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, it's an hour long webinar and we'd love to have you join in. It's free to come to the webinar. Um, but we're going to talk to you about becoming a member of our family really and getting this work done. And so we have different options and some of them include done with you. So uh. you have some help. That's where the accountability comes in. You know, definitely have the structure all by itself because it's structured. Mm -hmm. The guidance, you know, the guidance is there because each lesson has videos that guide you through they teach you things and they mm -hmm. instruct you what to do. But then what about the accountability? So the accountability is like, when is it you're going to sit down and actually do this stuff? So you yeah. bring your information to the working sessions and we do a two nights a week and an all day intensive once a month to get the stuff done. Nice. And then we also have some other offers for people that really need more handholding for like um, personal appointments That's on great. top of all of that. So we have kind of the whole shebang and, and then we also are offering for certain states, and I'm not sure where you all your listeners are, but across the world. Yeah, across the world. So I won't even mention it, but there's six states where we have an estate planning package uh, oh, okay. bundle. Okay. <clears throat> so that if they're like, yeah, you know, I need to do this. I have no idea who to go to. And we say, well, here's an option and you nice. can buy it in a bundle and it's kind of all done for you. That's great. So it runs the gamut. So if you're yeah. super organized and you can just get in and, and do it self self pace. Excellent. Yeah. If you're more like me, or you need a little bit of guidance and help and yeah. suggestions, you can do that too. Yeah. So gentlemen, check it out. It's a, you can go, you can find out, you can ask questions, find out yeah. which works for you uh, on, on Tuesday. We'll put the link in the show notes. So you can just click, it'll take you right to the webinar uh, registration page. And, you know, Stacy, thank you so much. This is, it's one of those things you just don't think about. And yeah. I feel that it's, it's so important, like that, yeah. you know, it's not, it's not, it, it's just not something you think about. It's not, you don't well, get you excited do about, about it. You don't, you do well, you do it when it happens to somebody else right? or when it happens to you <laughs> and you're like, holy 
cow this is i yeah. wish this would have i so they would have taken care of this or yeah. i wish somebody would have got educated it's one of those things we just don't really get educated about right yeah. and you have solved this entire problem i've heard about i've never heard of anything like this so me neither thank you so much i sincerely appreciate that you've taken your your time and your expertise to create something for people to you know to help us through this because it is a real it will be a godsend when you do this and it will be the one of the most loving things that you can do for your family members when the time comes for whatever happens because we know things happen in life right it will it'll happen it happens to everybody <laughs> so, at some point right, right. but yep. i really appreciate your under, you know you're really realizing the importance and bringing it to your Yep. to your listeners. And I just had a thought too, because you do have a specific niche, you know, you have divorced dads, it's a specific niche. Yep. They have a set of circumstances that probably run across the, the board. And we might be able to create like a work group with just your people Great. and do some sort of uh, program where, where that makes it a little more digestible. So awesome. We'll talk about that. Awesome. So lastly, what's the, what's the website and how can people contact you other than clicking on the webinar in the show notes below. Yeah, so the web, so my website is is uh, www.gotittogethernow.com. I love Just it. Be careful how you type it. It's a lot of letters. <laughs> gotittogethernow.com. Yeah, and you'll see Perfect. everything there. I also have a podcast that comes out weekly and you can click on the navigation bar and pop on over to the uh, podcast page and there's there's all the podcasts there. But but this is um you know, I'm glad you're excited about it, Jude, because I am so passionate about this. I want to scream from the rooftop, but not everybody feels that way. And I'm hoping that your dads can see that they're in a bit of a situation. If something happens to them, they don't have that other partner there to pick up the pieces. They, yep. They're kind of on their own. And if you want, you want to make sure your kids are not, you know, the, the people, the, the the people, <laughs> they are people, but th they can't take care of themselves. So they right. would be at the mercy of whatever happens and that it could be bad for some of them. Well, and some of us just don't want it to be at the mercy of our the other person? ex <laughs> yes. <laughs> or soon to be ex. So yeah. that's even more incentive. And it is really a good time uh, to do this when, when you're when you're thinking about it and when it's all coming up, you have all those documents yeah. there. So yeah. great. I really appreciate you being here today. Everybody, if you found value, please, uh, please leave a comment, give us a like, uh, uh, give us some reviews we are very helpful on, on the podcast. Go and listen to Stacy's podcast uh, as well and register for uh, her webinar. Stacy, thanks so much. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, Jude. It's All been right. great. A lot of fun. I didn't My know I was going to have so much fun. Oh, I know. You. It's always fun to talk about. <laughs> you know, it's not sexy, but it's no. really important. So it's, you know, that, I don't know, maybe that tells you something about me. That's, it, that gets me excited when I find something that's really going to make things better for people's lives that they don't know. Right? right. So that's the, that's the cool thing. So again, I really appreciate that you've, that, you know, it's a labor of love putting something together like this. And, and creating something that's never been done before. So I sincerely appreciate the work that you do. Thank you. Appreciate All right. That. Take care. Bye-bye.